Hello. Welcome back to an episode of We Are Again. Somewhere in the desert this time. And it is night, as one may say. And uh, we are going to explore something that's undiscovered. Uh, the Kutama Grasslands. I would not call it a grassland. Just to be 100% correct. But okay. Let's see what we have down here. It kind of looks volcanic. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, and more Dudorinos. Ah. La 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 la. <laughs> yeah, let's just let the wolf pack do everything. So, let's see. I could explore. Look, no. Let's just go along further that way. See where we end up at. Yeah, that looks interesting. Let's check all of that out. Hmm. All of those small enemies going about. Should I maybe pop in a potion? Nah. Probably. Ah, oh, that one just wanted to have a good view here. And what do we do? Completely and utterly destroy them. Poor fellows. Uh, I want that one again. Play somewhere else. More defile grounds. Yes, why not? Oh, Lilith statue in the wayward plains. Nice. All the way over here. Oh. A cellar? Part of a mission, probably? Eh. What was that just now? I just got stuck in the environment. A vase. Ooh, an underground vase. That's cool. These things popping out of the ground is actually pretty nifty. Eh, yeah, come on. Let's destroy those fellows. Like, look at this attack speed. That is amazing. And it's actually really good. So, if you depend on your basic attacks uh, doing something very specific, then increasing the attack speed is a really good idea. But, in general, increasing the attack speed is one of those uh, multipliers that increases your damage over time dramatically, so... Uh, uh, that's a good thing about it. What I need to do is just increase my crit chance to the max. Come on. Oh yeah, by the way... Did I charge up the wind shear completely? Yes, I did. Always so much... Hmm, confused about it. So, what's inside? Hmm. Too many blue items. Blue items are cool and all, but I said that before, those uh, lower level items, or like lower tier items, nah, lower level, lower tier, lower rarity items, they don't really do much other than clutter your inventory. And that's the thing that I don't quite like about them. They're just there to be sold, not to be used. I mean, you could put an artificial restraint on yourself to only use a certain kind of item, right? To only say that, ah, I'm gonna use magical item. But why would you do that? That would make the game pretty much impossible. <laughs> uh. But it would feel more natural, right? Because other than that... I would kind of scrap the whole idea of different rarities of items. Completely. We'll just have like one tier of items. But this one tier can have like, I don't know, different kind of stats. And the stats may be rare, right? That would make more sense. And that's an interesting entrance. So maybe you have items. Yeah, actually you should only have the, the, the stats 
of an item be rare or whatever. But the item itself should always be the same rareness or so. That would make things a lot better. And then... Just so you don't get too many items, right? You just lower the amount that you get. So... It would... That would be an interesting change, definitely. Because I have no idea what to do with, like, magical items other than to sell them. That's like... I don't have any purpose <laughs> other than that. Well, you could say that they are sources of... yeah, um... You can dismantle them, turn them into resources, but so can you do all of the other items, right? And the other items are even better, because they yield better resources, so... Mm. In this case, you can just drop the resources themselves, right? <laughs> that would make much more sense. Uh, and more mat... Do I get so many magical stuff like that? Makes no sense. But yes, conduit! Uh, come on, let me get some enemies around. Why does it not work? There we go. I am looking for enemies. I cannot find enemies. You got to be kidding me. There aren't even any special ones around. Oh, look at this. Cows. Oh, look at this. Dead cows. Oh, look at this. A trap. Perfect. Exactly what I want. Oh. Ooh, that's actually something in games like this, right? That kind of go all about uh, that are all about maximizing your stats and dealing as much damage over time, or like yeah, damage over not with like damage over time spells, but you want to increase the amount of damage that you can do, right? Uh, therefore, the increase of damage over time is a reflection of that. What you need is a different stat that is more a statistical stat, right? Something that's not attack power, that's not scaled on a on a rigid value, but something that happens as you play. So let's say the um, you 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 are defeating enemies, right? And then there's a calculator going up, uh, um, adding up all the damage that you do. And then after like a minute or so, it caps out. And then it uh, tells you, yes, uh, you did so and so much damage over a minute or so. Then just calculates it down to damage per second or whatnot. And then you know exactly how much damage you do, right? You have to test it out in the field, of course. Um, but then again, you get a reflection in the game that tells you exactly that. You don't have to do any uh, calculations, any like, other things. You can just test it. Uh, which makes games like this actually more easy to understand. <laughs> hey, what kind of item do you um, do you want to equip? Well, I don't know. Just test it, right? And then you kind of get a feeling. Does attack speed actually increase the, the damage? Does base attack uh, increase the damage more? Or does crit chance or crit damage increase the damage more? Does any other stat increase the damage more? So you just equip an, uh, an item, you look at your stats and you say, okay. Uh, that's how much it go. Uh, that's how much damage over time we do. That's just that. In this case, this one right here, right? The damage uh, per second value. That's kind of an in interesting indicator. But this one only is there because of the weapon itself. Like, uh, it's a purely weapon specific damage over time value. It has nothing to do with anything else. It's just the weapon. Hmm. And any other value that would increase that value uh, just gets ignored. Anyhow, uh, while we're at it, let's just talk to all of the people in uh, what's this, Amarin? Farubu. Ugh, what did you boo this with? It stinks like death. Try a swing. We'll bring you right back to life. <laughs> hmm. Okay. 
But what if it does not come back to life? What it stays dead and decays. My uncle always tried to convince me that this place was named after him. <laughs> he loved this town almost as much as he loved making up stories. Hmm. Do 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 do. Uh, that's in there. That's in there. Didn't I just uh walk past? Some dude. Uh, yes, this one. The goats have been acting up badly. I take it as an omen, but they were always an ornery sort. Hmm. Good. Stone throw mill. What's this? Grain and feed. Best in the steps. Ah. So it's not a warning. No hint where we may get ourselves better items and gear and whatnot. Sadly. Right. Let's do. Uh, Let's sell some stuff, why not? Actually, I haven't checked on any good items. Oh! Critical strike damage. Okay, damage, not chance. Hmm. Overpower damage, vulnerable damage. Yes, 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 but I need the chances. And um, this one has thorns on it. Yes. Sadly, it's not much better. So it's just different. Uh, critical strike damage again. And. No. Good. Nothing to get from this dude. What was that one all about? Yeah, I just wanted to take it apart. So, let's go to the smithy. To do exactly that. Damn bandits. Steal my coin, my farm. Even recruited my own brother. Hmm. Is it really the bandits' fault? Got so. the score to settle? Uh, kind of, yes, but I need much better weapon than you have. Fresh lumber. Skullskullin lumber fetches a hefty price in the desert. Ah, Koji. Time to take this one apart. Good Ooh, sick. Fun during the hell tide. Uh huh. Used to improve sacred and ancestral items. Ah, uh, quick question why do I get this thing? It says it's found the... Hmm. It, that makes no sense. This was not a Helltide thing, or, or was it? Legion event, yes. But Helltide? Should it have its own kind of name? Like a Helltide Helltide? Hmm. Whatever. Yes, Did you take that load of grain to the mill, boy? The mill is broken again, sir. Well, they better get it fixed. I have a shipment headed south in the morning. The mill breaks down so often we'd be better off with a damn mortar and pestle. Hmm, but then you do need an awful lot of mortars, right? <laughs> Wouldn't it become mortifying? <laughs> okay, so what about bait? Bad news all around these days. Best to have a nail and watch the clouds pass over. <laughs> he must be the master of this town. Master base. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that was so good. Now, uh, let's see. There's not much in here that we could do, could we? Did I check all of... Wait a minute. Did I check out this house? I think I... Did or did I not? Yes. Okay. Now then, we have... I'm just going to check out everything around here. Maybe unlock the next area. Just the first part of it. That we know how it's all connected. We can get there quicker. Oh, and another one. Oh, okay. bride-to-be wants her whole damned family to be at our wedding. If she asks, I've got a whole wagon of invites on the way to Ken Pardu. Hmm, that's neat. Bum 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 Ken Pardu. Ah, didn't even enter that area yet. Whoa. Oh yeah yeah ah, and there is another one. That's nice. Oh, fifty-eight. 
no. What about this one? That's 50. Yeah, okay, because it's finished. That's also 50. Hmm. Yeah, once you finish them, they um, drop down to you, the maximum level for the difficulty. Which in this case is maybe a bit too low. <laughs> uh, strongholds are the only areas where you can actually do some leveling now. Shoot, let's see. What's that? Oh, it kind of looks like a gray. Dooby doo dooby doo doo. Money. Okay, but I do have to say, um, attack speed itself. Wait a minute, does this have? Yeah, attack speed itself. Does that? Does that influence how fast we actually? use our skills I don't know it could be but it doesn't matter because the rest of the skills are useless hmm. maybe the idea for like a better build would be to use uh, multiple base skills and not just one but then I don't have that many slots to slot that stuff in hmm that uh, becomes a little bit tricky now. So what's this one all about? The grain storage. Ah, perfect. Maggot like ambush. Actually, with the higher critical strike chances of like, I don't know, 15 or whatever, how many percentages? 20. It basically means every second attack that I do is critical. Hmm. Oh, that's good. That is actually really, 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 really good. More mazes. Mazes, mazes, mazes. Ready. Ah, uh, uh, that must be the village then. Interesting. Hmm. Well, let's just have a quick look at the surrounding areas then. Maybe find ourselves a unique-ish kind of enemy also. But there's not much we can do in terms of exploration, but... Now I get it. Dry steps are steps and not... And not a desert. The desert is further south. Catch a star. Ah, ah. Now it all kind of makes sense. I was like, yeah, dry steps. That sounds like a desert. But no, it's not. It's the stage before a desert. Still a little bit of vegetation. But dry as can be. Okay, so we got bandits and beasts. What about wild horses or so? Yup, 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 yup. Um, nothing there. Oh, ready oh, it's okay. So this is where you get the stuff.
Nah, nah, so get distracted by the small ones too much. They don't yield as much experience. There we go. And we're going to check out this part here. That looks interesting. And then we're going straight south. Plants, yes. A dusty daisy, yeah, look at that. What is this? Bring the daisy to Jiral. Done there. Nice. So we can finish two missions right now. That's sweet. Beast. They have such a low kind of rumble. It's just amazing. Whee! So, what is this? Uh huh. So, it's a bandit camp kind of thing. Uh, all of them use ranged attacks. Not nice. if you think about it, attack speed should be the same as cooldown reduction. It should be the same value, right? Speed. <laughs> the speed value. The higher your speed value, the faster you can do things. But wait a minute. It also kind of depends on if you have a fixed or a variable attack animation. Hmm. Yeah. And in the end, it's just this one that gets better. Hmm. Actually, yeah, normal attacks should also have a cooldown. So you can do this attack and this attack and this attack. And everything has a cooldown. Because you have to wind back, actually, right? Like the, you have the attack, the hit, and then you have the wind up again. Think of this as a... As a Kind of like a doll that you have to wind up, or like a toy or so. Toy car. You have the wind up stage, which is the cooldown reduction, right? Or the cooldown happening. And then you have the attack speed, which happens uh, as you let go of the thing. That would kind of make sense. Ooh. And Galavai. You. Ah, well developed, well developed. <sighs> you only, you always see green numbers, right? The complete comparison is a little weird. Because at the bottom, it tells you what you miss out on if you equip it. But this is usually not where you're looking at the item. We get separated. Mm -hmm. my, my friends were cut down. I won't last on my own. Well, let's see. It's another damage check we have to perform. Wave number one, done. Wave number two. Last time I was able to uh, reach at least ten waves, I think. Nice thing is that this one just doesn't die. It's this one is really just a damage check. Easy and simple. Righty, come on. There we got that one. No, I'm definitely not gonna get that. The enemies are too... Bleh. Too far apart. Wait a minute, wait. No, was it? No. Maybe it was Waves of Darkness or something like that. Yeah. Thank you, Wanderer. Without you, I'd be dead. I think I can manage from here. Oh, oh please. Do you know? 
take this. Yeah, I just have this uh, humongous chest in my back pocket. <laughs> As do everyone else. Uh. So, let's see. Let's go all the way down there. We And what do we got here? Oh, another dungeon. Look at this. Your core skills seem up to 20% increased damage based on your amount of fortify. Ooh. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. I do have a decent amount of fortify, right? Is this a druid thing or is this a druid only? Yeah. But not only the druid can be fortified. It's one of those nifty tricks where having an alt character uh, can improve your own character. But I don't know if it turns an item into a class only one or not. Because what you can do is like uh, use the aspect uh, generation of one class to give a um, still usable uh, aspect to a second one that's not able to hold on to it. So let's see. Hmm. They got obliterated. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> ah, let's just walk along the shore. Come on. Can't we just collect some seashells down here? That would be sweet. Nothing here. Seashells at the seashore. Alrighty. That one looks very interesting. The Seaside Descent. Let's just end this episode right now. And then we are gonna go right in there. And then we're gonna continue with the rest of the exploration. Maybe some other dungeons. Until then, like and subscribe as usual. And, uh... Ta-ta!